It's my birthday! Woo! I did it. Lots of love, your quarantine queen. Oh, stop it! Oh my god! Yeah! Honestly, this is like the best day ever. I could cry. Hi! Oh, he responds to his name? This is not my idea of heaven. So I think this is nicer than some people's lounges I've ever been in in my life. What is this, guys? You've spoiled me already and I don't even know what's inside. Happy birthday to you! Oh, look. Good morning. I'm having to be quiet because Luke is still asleep. But it's his birthday. It's the 12th of July and it's 6.23. I don't know if it's because of his, it's his birthday, but I literally couldn't sleep. I thought I could sleep. But I think I kept waking up because I was nervous that I wouldn't wake up before he woke up so here we are i feel like i have been preparing for his birthday for the longest time i'm like obsessed with birthdays just happened to be we had one in the house so this morning i have told him that he can't leave his bedroom unless it's to go to the toilet until i have transformed the living room so my plan is while he's still asleep so i've bought some balloons so we've got these Little polka dot gold balloon and some happy oh, you can't really see this some happy birthday balloons so i need to transform the living room into a birthday den and yeah lay out his presents i need to go to the shop i need to go and get some orange juice so we can have some mimosas and then some fruit and things so we can have a little birthday platter but yeah, he's been told to just dis not disappear, stay in his room until we're ready to go. Honestly, I am so excited. I feel like I've really hyped up these presents because I've been so excited. I just get excited about giving presents. Okay, stage one is complete. I thought these were meant, I thought we were meant to have ten, but we have six, so that's fine. They're meant to be, I mean, they are quite gold. They just look a bit yellow, but yeah, I'm so happy. I think in the living room, I'm going to tie these window handles and have a happy birthday set up but we'll see now it's time for these <laughs> string i mean you can't come to this satiny string so i'm gonna go and hang it up now those balloons were quite loud to blow up and he's still not woken up so i feel like i might be able to head into the living room now and start setting up they're up so i've had to put the curtains behind because you can't see the house I'm thinking now, I'm going to put a little bench here with all of his presents. Oh, look at that. So, we're done. I don't think this is really to Luke's taste, but... So he's got his little happy birthday balloons, polka dot ones. We've got a bit of an odd room for, like, laying things out, like... Here isn't really a vibe. Neither's this. So this is, we're gonna have to make do. But yeah, with his cake, with the little cake topper. Yeah, little cards, which I'm not gonna show the addresses. Some of our glasses, cause we're gonna go and get some orange juice to have mimosas. And then, and then he's still not awake, which I feel a bit weird, keep checking, but like, how is he still asleep? Cause I can't sleep on my birthday or Christmas or any other exciting day of the year. What did you get for your 23rd birthday? A spot. A zit. My lord. Morning! Hello! Have you already done an introduction? I was Have like, you? morning, it's Luke's birthday. It's my birthday! Woo! I'm not really much of a birthday person, as I'm sure Zara's already said, and I'm already so half asleep. We had some wine last night. Mm. It wasn't a good idea, and I feel a little bit ropey. So Zara's made me a coffee in bed. This is my only request for the day, that I could have coffee in bed. I mean, coffee in a bed on Sunday is pretty much our, it's our tradition. Yeah. But having coffee in bed 
on your birthday. It just hits different. It just, it does. It does a different thing. And I love it, Mimi. I'm gonna open up my cards in bed. Oh, I just, I do, I do love birthdays, but um, oh, this one's got a dog awareness week on it. I saw that. From Cornwall. I think this is your Nana's. Yeah. Zara's Nana has sent me a card, bless her, which is really lovely. And I think your mum has too, right? But it's in, yeah, in the living room. Die. Okay. I'm gonna open these cards. Let me duck you guys at the bottom. <laughs> Lots of love, your quarantine queen. Thank you, Zara. You're welcome, That's babe. very kind. This calls for alcohol. It does. I'm currently having a coffee, but I'm going to have alcohol. Right, I'm going to finish up this. Apparently, Zara's done something quite special in the living room. Which no, it's not quite... quite special. Stop picking it up. Right, apparently, Zara's done something quite me mediocre in the bit, in the um, living room, so... <laughs> okay, you can come in. Oh, my little cards. Oh, stop it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, Zara! I did it! All by oh. myself! Oh my god! Oh, bless you! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! I literally just desire feel so emotional. She just got me so so much, so much, and so so silly. I feel so spoiled. I feel like I'm still half asleep. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna. Sh I mean, you pretty much can guess from the time lapse, but I think I might film a little um what I got for my birthday video, which I guess could be quite nice for you guys to watch. I feel very spoiled. I also love this card. <laughs> this is from Amanda Zara's mum. It says, "Sorry, this card is just spent all my money on hand sanitizer." <laughs> If you can't make most of the pandemic, then when can you? Look at the cake! It all looks amazing! We've got some champagne flutes behind here, so we're gonna have a little book space for breakfast. I kept calling them mimosas earlier. Mimosas? I called them mimosas all morning. I think... I don't know. I think a mimosas fruit puree? Well, that's like a bellini. I don't know. Oh, it's all much of a much isn't it? We're having alcohol for breakfast, because why can't you on your birthday? And we're not driving today, so it's fine. This was a very lovely bottle of Prosecco sent over from my auntie for my birthday. Amazing, and Zara's got some orange juice. Might be a little bit warm now, I got that a few hours ago. That's it's been quite prepared. I feel like we're, I only really have these at Christmas, or um... Had them at graduation. Graduation or birthdays. Celebratory drinks. Now I always get this bit wrong, because it always fizzes as I do it. I've gone quite heavy on the orange juice, because it is still quite early. <laughs> Oh, it just smells like a happy experience. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday. Oh my god. Laura's just put on the most beautiful spread. Look at that! Got berries on top, and then we've got some hot crust buns. <laughs> hot crust buns, literally. It's mid-July, and I still love hot crust buns. They like traditionally had an Easter and some oh, pan au chocolat. <gasps> Honestly, this is like the best day ever. I could cry. So we have had a shower and also for my birthday, I got a gigantic spot on my face. Happy 23rd! <laughs> it's huge! Oh my god, it's literally like, oh, it's gross. Anyway, um, I've got this shirt on that Zara got me for my birthday. I will be filming a what I got for my birthday video, but I just thought I'd show you this because it's too nice not to wear today and it's just the most wonderful, it's like, it's a lighter, slightly darker, the baby pink, um, like pastel pink, but I just honestly, Absolutely love it. So, so happy with it. And um, yeah, it just makes me feel happy. So she's absolutely nailed it. So Ewan got a video from Kim Woodburn, none other than Kim Woodburn, the queen of clean, to send me a birthday message and, oh, birthday maid, listen to this. Hello, Luke. How are you, my love? Now, your friend, Mr. Carrington, tells me it's your birthday on the 12th of July. Ah, happy birthday, my love. Have a lovely time. What? Now, what? he's asked me to pass on this message, which I do with pleasure. Luke, he asked me to tell you, oh, Mr. Carrington says, it was either this message or a four-week Bakrami course. I hope your day is full of gin and tonics and cake. <sighs> Not bad, is it? <laughs> Thank you for being such a fab friend. Oh, well, you and Mr. Carrington sound lovely. All the best to both of you. 
Oh, isn't that lovely? That is so nice. I feel like that is like birthday mood. This morning, having cake, having pastries, having a little glass of fizz. Oh, so happy. I also can't believe this spot. I feel like I might need to Zara to just um, cover it up because it is just, it's ginormous. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the park. We made it to Tooton Park and we're just waiting for our friends Sam and Jess to arrive because it's very exciting. They have a new four-legged friend that's came into their life. They've got a wire-haired dash hound and um, they only got it the other day, so I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, they're just gonna arrive and um, we're gonna have a socially distanced birthday picnic in the park, which is very exciting. It's actually quite busy today, but um, we've picked a spot that's quite out of the way. And we've packed our cool bag with some wine and some snacks, so we're all good. So everybody, this is Ralph. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Oh, he responds to his name. Hi, Ralph. <gasps> he is a wired-haired sausage dog, and I think I've just fallen in love. Oh, my God. <gasps> is he trying to come He's in? currently in Zara's lap. Oh, look how Gravel small cam. he is. Like, in Gravel relation cam. to our It's okay if he does. He's, like, literally the size of my Baby. hand. Oh, my goodness. Where's he going? You guys are proud parents. <laughs> He's so small. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, boys. <laughs> Look at me. We literally found everything sausage, sausage dog. themed dog. I absolutely love it. Oh my god. Oh, I love the wrapping paper, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to like it. It's very Oh, these are, yeah, these are from so Ralph. cute. From Ralph. Oh my god, look. Oh. I love them. I need to do some filing as well. That is literally. Oh. We said that we said the one on the top left looks a bit like it's got like testicles hanging down. But they down. put the extra leg in it. It's a bit. <laughs> no, the, no, other, the one. other one. Look. Oh. <laughs> Is. What is this guys? You've spoiled me already and I don't even know what's inside it. This is ridiculous. Oh gosh. <gasps> Stop it. Well, we knew you had your little cheese thing. So you like, we'll get you a nice little, Aww. a little lamb. Um, Stop we it. We were going to bring cheese. They're you. actually stunning. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah, thank you so much. Right, we've just stopped for a pizza break. We went to um, Frank and Manga and oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's got potato on it. Oh, I don't know if we planned for that. Did we actually order that? I don't remember the potato. Or the sun dried tomato. That's the number three. No, no, the number three was sun dried tomatoes. Don't remember the potatoes being mentioned though. <laughs> How do you feel about potatoes on your pizza? I don't know. Classic margarita. <gasps> this is like birthday lunch. Done well. So excited. Precious. You've had to put him in the shade because he's getting a touch too warm, but now he's absolutely fine. Look at his little paws. Oh my god, in size of my hand. Oh. Oh, look at you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're, so funny. you're in your mischievous stage now, aren't you? Yeah, like, exactly. no, I've got energy no, no. to get rid of. He's just snacking on my fingers. I love it. <laughs> Ralph, that's you. Do you want some of your water, bud? Want some water? This little dog start running, so just spray that. <laughs> We're back from the park now. Oh my god. I've had the nicest day. I feel like this is birthday for me. The least fuss, the better. And just to fully enjoy being around a couple of friends, family, whoever you're around, and just have a lovely day. It was just, oh, the weather was so nice. I feel really grateful. I feel, honestly, with, with what's going on in the pandemic, I remember thinking about my birthday in like May time and thinking that. Who knows how my birthday is going to turn out and it's been it's been amazing also on the way back from the park We walked past this person's house and they had two waste bins outside their house and They had free like stickers on them Like handwritten stickers and I was like sorry. That's a really good bin It was in like immaculate condition and our recycling bin We've had it for like two years and it's kind of past its best Zara, we should definitely take that back. Let me show you it. So this is the bin. Yes, I'm showing you bins in my birthday, but it's by a brand called Bar... I don't Bra Benita? Bra Benita? I think that's how you say it. It's a huge recycling bin with one of the touch lids that soft closes. And I had a look on the John Lewis website and they're currently £120, £119.99. They come with a 10 year warranty. This is the bin. And this is the product. I'm honestly, I'm so happy. We're using it as our recycling bin. But you just tap down the lid. Honestly, brilliant. So that's what we use for our general waste, and that's what we're using for our recycling. I just think it looks so much more smart, and oh, I'm so happy. 
I've always said this, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> We're just gonna sit out on the balcony now, have a cheeky little gin and tonic, enjoy the rest of the sun, and Zora's gonna cook me dinner, which I'm very excited about because that doesn't happen all that often, so when it does, I fully, fully revel in it. <laughs> So we decided to scrap dinner because I was still so full from the lunch that we had in the park and that pizza was amazing. So I've put together what I can only describe as possibly the most extravagant lunch, sorry, the most extravagant dinner <laughs> for one. And Zara's has popped a gin and tonic down for me. This is the um, Opia gin and tonic with some Fiba Tree um, tonic, which is delicious and a gigantic cheese board. And I am very excited. We've got some Wensley dill with cranberry, some garlic and cheddar, and some spicy chili cheese. We've got some of this lovely chutney as well. This is sun-dried tomato and balsamic chutney. Caramelized onion chutney here as well. Some grapes, crackers. These like little cheese morsels from Waitrose. And then we've got some apple and some berries, like some blueberries and strawberries, because berries and cheese, guys, if you haven't tried it, try it. It's delicious. This is not my idea of heaven. Happy birthday to you. Oh, look at it. Happy birthday <laughs> to Luke. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. You. Woo! Right, what well, have I got a dream? You've I've got, got to make a, make a wish. Make a wish. I have to make a for wish. Your next. 365 days. Can I say it out loud? No. Oh, it doesn't come true if you say it out loud. <sighs> Yay! Yay! We're going in for the cut. I think we should just have one slice between the two of Me us. Me too. Because this is a... Hefty cake. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Guys, we're in for a treat. Here we are, three. Oh my god, look. Look at that. <gasps> look at the icing. <laughs> There's more icing than there is cake. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Hello everybody, good morning. So today is Monday. I thought I'd continue this vlog because Zara's taking the day off work. Good so morning. <laughs> good morning. No, is it still morning? It's ten past twelve. Oh I thought you were saying good morning. Oh, I said like, good, good morning. morning. Right, anyway, Zara's taking the day off work today, so we're having a day out of London um, just to extend the birthday celebrations, and we're off to a place called Burford. Now, Burford's kind of like near Oxford, or something like the cusp of Oxford and the Cotswolds in the UK. Um, never been. Kind of saw on Instagram, it's just somewhere that looked quite nice to go, so we thought, why don't we go? It's about two hours out of London, so it's not too far. Um, the road traffic's been fantastic because it's a Monday. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd take you guys along. I think we're gonna maybe have like a pub lunch if we can. Uh, the weather's not too great, but that's all right. Um, I think there's a garden center here that's quite nice as well, so it'd be maybe good if we could drive there. I think you also wanna say that we still are saving, but this is oh, a birthday yes. weekend celebration. Yes. And birthdays don't count. Yeah, birthdays don't count. And also like, we haven't really spent any money <laughs> but it's, yeah I know a couple of you um, are very eagle eyed and you're like aren't you supposed to be saving oh, let me mix up aren't you supposed to be saving and we obviously are still are but we, we're, we're living as well so um, yeah everything that we do is kind of always on a budget anyway so yeah I'll take you guys along for a trip to Burford which hopefully will be quite nice and I do want to go to the garden centre I'm sorry <laughs> would be nice to do and I know you all love a garden centre so um, yeah I'll pick my camera up as and when and maybe get some lunch soon because we've got 20 minutes until we get there and I need some So we've made it to Burford. We're, we're, I think we're behind the Baptist church behind us. It's beautiful. I'm gonna vlog as and when and around. It's just lovely. It's very, very quiet, isn't it? Yeah, there's and like there's free parking. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I'm shook that my day's been made. <laughs> we're gonna have a little wander um, through, I'm not sure if it's, is it a town? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's is a it town. A no, but a the, the, that's a big old church. So I'm gonna guess it's a town. I think it's the town of Burford. It's basically in the Cotswold area, but it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So we 
we've just found this old fashioned traditional sweet shop. Zara actually used to work in a sweet shop, fun fact, <laughs> one of her first jobs. Look at all of these tins. Oh my god, chocolate gingers, I remember them. Cinnamon balls. Oh man, strawberry and creams, mint imperials, they remind me of my nana. Pear drops, oh god, they are really old. So, we came to the scenic car park in Birthday. A lot of the places in Birthday are actually quite expensive. Like, it was like 14 pounds for a main, so we just thought, mm -mm, we're not gonna pay that. We are saving for our house. <laughs> this is gonna be the running theme. So we went to the local store and just got some sandwiches and some crisps and that kind of thing for a fraction of the cost. And we're just gonna sit in the more scenic part of the car park. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have some lunch and then we're gonna go get a tea and coffee as a treat. I think that'll be quite nice. So we've just stopped off in a little coffee shop for a very lovely cherry and almond slice, which I haven't had in the longest time. Zara's gone for what I can only describe as pure heaven, chocolate eclair. Probably something I would choose, but you know. And Zara's gone for a tea and I've got a coffee. So a little I'm afternoon not treat. English, like, I'd like an yeah. a tea. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> so we've all done in Burford and we've came to Burford Garden Centre, which is just outside of Burford. And um, it's huge, absolutely ginormous, it's quite busy. But um, we're gonna see if we can get some more, it does, doesn't it? We're gonna see if we can get some more plants for our balcony area and maybe a small plant pot because two of our plants inside of our living room need repotting. It's not going to be a big hall, but just meant to be really nice garden time to come and visit, so I'm going to go in. How cool is that? It's like an old French Citroen van. <laughs> right, let's go on in. We have house in mind. We've just bought this beautiful 19th century preparation kitchen table. It's 875, which is obviously a lot of money, but for something that old and that quality, everything is just so nice. Wow. Literally, their outdoor furniture is so nice. It just looks so comfy, doesn't it? It's so welcoming. That's so nice too. Oh wow. The light's lovely. Some of these water features are absolutely beautiful. They're all self-contained as well. Wow. This one at the end. Yeah. I love the light bulbs as well. They're so nice. How lovely are they? Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Look at these succulents and outdoor wild plants. They're amazing. Look at the size of that one. <gasps> Guys, we found the ivy. We just need one for the living room. Oh wow, look at that. How much is that one? Four? Four ninety-five. That's not bad. Perfect. Some of these beer plants are absolutely lovely. We've got another ivy to pop in our living room. Spotted they've got a little shop in there with lots of wine and gin and stuff. I love these barrels as well. This garden center is absolutely ginormous guys. It just goes on and on. Yeah, 100%. So we're just having a look at some of the outer garden buildings and I mean, it's not even nice to say they're sheds. <laughs> they're like full on beautiful. Oh, they're made in Norfolk. They're called garden buildings, they're lovely. <gasps> wow, oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> that is incredible. It is like a full-on lounge at the bottom of your garden. How amazing is that? Oh my goodness. This is the dream, isn't it? It's so nice. Oh my goodness. So I think this is nicer than some people's lounges I've ever been in in my life. So this would set you back 46,500 pounds. Oh, 47,000 pounds, sorry. Do you get everything with it? No, just that's just the shell. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely stunning though. I mean, you have an artichokes for dinner for that money you'd want to. <laughs> Beautiful though. Wow. Even the floor. <gasps> We're just having a look inside at the store and they've got some lovely gins. It's a Tazara, the, the branding is so nice. Apothecary rose gin, geranium and mallow. So I actually did the Cotswolds gin tour about, I think it was about three years ago now and it is, oh, honestly it's delicious. They do whiskies as well but it's, it's very, very good gin. They've got a lovely one here as well. It's like a spiced Indian gin. As you can tell, I don't like my gin. <laughs> We've just came indoors and having a little look around all of like the deli produce and the jams, chutneys, pastas. Oh wow, I could just spend so much money on somewhere like this. This rusted ironwork is so nice. It's like a fern. 
looks lovely. We're now entering the indoor plant section, which is where I have to have my most restrained because I would gladly just take everything. <laughs> so we've just got back from Burford and as I said, we nipped into the garden center. I'm just gonna show you everything we got. We didn't really get a lot to be fair. I've got two ivies. One of these is to go in the living room. And then the second ivy is to go in my bedroom just because I thought it'd be nice on the shelf. Yes, these were £4.95, which is a little bit expensive for ivy, but we haven't seen it in quite a while. I think it's quite popular, so hopefully this will stay alive. So yeah, we've got two of those. And the ivy we've got in our balcony is actually thriving, so that's good. Also picked up this wonderful like stone grey plant pot. This was six pounds. Um, and this is gonna be for a plant on the balcony that we need a repot that we got in Durham. Um, and I just love that. I think it's got a really nice finish. And then the only other thing that we got, well two things actually. I got this, which is just a plant plate for a plant in the living room. It's just getting a bit unruly, so we need to take it out of its pot and fully let it just breathe i guess so we got one of those and that was 275 and then this is a total treat but oh my goodness it is so good if you've ever had this pink lemonade it is it's just a thing of pure joy we used to sell this in the restaurant i used to work at years ago called bills and it's pink lemonade it is delicious it was four pounds which i know was really expensive but we're going to use it sparingly and you can keep the glass bottle as well which i just think is so lovely i just think it's a really nice Thing to keep out in the cabinet once you know you've drunk it so yeah that's all we got didn't get a lot but it's been a lovely day out so we're having this for dinner this is our well it's one of our favorite dishes actually we've made it before in a vlog it's the butternut squash rigatoni but we didn't have enough rig rigatoni so we bulked it out with facility so it's a mix of both i'm not mad it's fine <laughs> we're gonna have this uh, the garlic bread's already in there and we're gonna have some cheese and it's gonna be delish i cannot wait literally i feel like i am so hungry I genuinely think this is up there with one of my favorite pastas and it is so simple, it's delicious. We're just having some squash and we are watching Shutter Island. If you haven't seen Shutter Island, I highly recommend you watch it because it is brilliant. It's quite long, it's like a psychological thriller and it's got Leonardo DiCaprio in and I love it. So we're gonna watch this and eat some pasta because that's how rock and roll we are on a Monday. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this birthday week weekend vlog here. If you have enjoyed this, then do give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe as well. It's been the most amazing, amazing 23rd birthday. We've still got the balloons up behind us. It's just been, it's been so special. I feel so spoiled, Zara has. She's well and truly smashed it out of the park. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, as always, there's gonna be plenty more videos coming very soon. But yeah, I'll catch you all in another video coming very soon. Bye for now.